Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. St. Martin of Tours, pray for us. He was a very humble and meek saint. St. Thomas Aquinas says that charity is a source of all virtues. Charity, not just generic love, but Christian charity. Charity from Christ. And thus, obviously, this includes one of those great traits of St. Martin, meekness. Meekness is included in that source of charity. So what is meekness? Meekness is the quality of moderation by which we govern our passions, especially anger, and keep them subject to the control of our reason. It's not, and this is what mis- this is mistaken nowadays, it's not just a form of good-natured affability. That's not meekness. But rather, it's coming from two big virtues, humility and fortitude. Yes, we need fortitude in order to be meek. We feel insulted. We feel the ingratitude toward us. But this doesn't remove the sufferings that we experience from those two things which accompanies them. And so therefore it demands heroic silence or softer tones in the midst of injustice or injury inflicted. And their meekness is born when we're able to handle all of those things that we normally can't handle, where we explode or erupt or overreact or whatever. So when we're able to keep that in check, it takes a lot of fortitude, it takes a lot of divine charity to help us submit to that humble yoke, to that uh, task at hand. So we can see that meekness is not a form of weakness. That's the famous uh, little cliche people use, right? Meekness is not weakness. And it's true. But rather, it's the fruit of fortitude. It takes a lot to suffer and to endure such agitation and remain calm as a cucumber, collective, in control of oneself. Once there was a boy who was trying to hit his baseball in his backyard. So he kept throwing a ball up in the air and swinging at it. And he says, I'm the best hitter in the world. Strike one. And then he throws it up again. I'm the best hitter in the world. Strike two. And then he throws it up a third time. I'm the best hitter in the world. Strike three. Oh, well, I'm the best pitcher in the world. He ended up saying <laughs> And sometimes it's hard to switch gears, especially when those passions are all stoked. And, you know, the in-laws are saying this, or the, you know, the, the niece is saying that and the other, or whatever. And it's hard to switch gears. You have to be like that little boy, you know. I'm the best here or there. And then when you strike out, then you have to go to another positive aspect. But the love of Christ alone can soften our hearts. It's for Him. It's for Him. I was just meditating yesterday uh, because I have to give a retreat soon. So I have to give a talk about the, uh, the nativity of Christ. And I was just thinking, you know... Sometimes I can be shaken in my boots thinking about the last judgment. We're going to come before the terrible judge 
which he is, uh, and that's why in the Requiem Mass we have the Eres Die, we sing the Eres Die because it's going to be a rough day, the day of judgment, where all the justice will be in full force. God have mercy on me, on, on us, right? But now we have a time where we have access to a babe-like judge. <laughs> In other words, all his infinite perfections, all his... And yet, for ours to soften all of this fear or trauma or drama to come, we can spend hours with a little divine babe that can't even form two sentences together in a manger. Yet he has all that knowledge and all that divinity and all that power and all that comes along with it. But we just place ourselves before the crib, before the manger, and our visits to the most blessed sacrament. He's just, and a piece of bread is much more humble and meek than a, a little infant baby. And we could just spend hours and hours softening up that judgment to come. Softening. We, we can express ourselves. We can, uh, do I dare say it? We can even uh, just semi, don't blame me on stuff, other stuff, just semi complain, you know. We can express ourselves to our dear Lord the way we, in a very meek way, very frank way. And all of this affects us. So me by saying this, I'm just saying that hmm, we need the love of Christ to help us to tone down the different overreactions we have. And it's a beautiful thing because our Lord is the one who's doing the work. So therefore, as we continue this holy sacrifice of the Mass, we ask St. Martin, who was very, very meek, let us ask him, help me, so I become meek and humble of heart like our divine Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.